Capricorn, how about a reading from your metal dog tarot today? It has been a while, but I am feeling I'm good, working my way through the Cardinals today. You people that like to start shit. <laughs> so Capricorn, let's see what's going on with you. I'm going to do a four card spread. I'm going to cut the deck here with the Klimt deck, which jumped off the shelf, wanted to say something to you, Capricorn. We're going to do a four card spread. Your release, your embrace, something the cards want you to know that they think are hidden from you and your possible future. And then we'll clarify with the Mystic Monday deck. Um, it's a very glamorous set of cards that wanted to talk to you today. So let's see what they have to say, Capricorn. All right, well, you're being told to release the King of Wands, a very decisive alpha energy. We'll find out more. It could be a person. It could be an attitude that you've been taking. Are you being bossy? <laughs> um, yeah, we'll clarify. You're told to embrace... Ouch! A Ten of Swords. Very painful ending. You're being told to embrace this. Are you perhaps maybe maybe resisting an ending? You know, this is kind of a scary card in this deck, but typically the Ten of Swords, there's walking away from something that has been painful, that is like a body stab ten times. It's like over, and you need to accept that. Um, and then there's a new day. Um, this one is very much like the new day is this kind of awakening and she is uh, she has a halo here and then but there's still that that loss that's haunting here that pain um, in the background very complicated up in your head physically painful experience um, that you're being asked to embrace here we'll find out more what this ending is the cards also want you to know that you feel trapped, but you're not. This seems very real. It's an eight of swords, and you're being told to really, to embrace a ten. So is there a king of wands that you need to end things with? That's a very obvious reading of this. Um, eight of swords is a perspective. You know, she's all tied up in knots um, in this maze of swords, but... She could get up off her chair and walk out that maze. There's lots of openings here for her. So that's why I think of it as an invitation to change your perspective, to see you're not trapped somehow. Uh, future. Wow. Future is happiness. Um, wonderful. Ten of cups. That is family. Love the whole shebang there in the future. So, yeah, seems like advice you might want to take. Bottom of the deck here is some healing. So there's a need to heal. That's uh, the Four of Swords is about going inward, going alone, kind of a hermity energy to heal. All right, well, let's find out more upon clarification. Let's find out. What all this pain leading to all this joy has to do with for you, Capricorn. Okay, so you're being told to release this Queenie Ten of Wands, who I often mistake for a queen, but is, is a king. Uh, <laughs> very alpha energy. Um, I'm trying to read tarot like a queer and not... Um, use masculine and feminine and um and instead to, to speak in terms of the qualities that the cards represent so being um, a leader strong will determination um could be a little bossy um, i like bossy myself but i don't really like being bossy <laughs> i just saw the ten of swords on the bottom again here so uh, this this release is a, a strong message. You have to release and embrace an end. It's like, okay, cards. It feels like you need to get you know, a message needs to be really clear for you. So let's see. Clarifying. 
It's a two of cups. This would be why it is so hard to release it. It's a true love situation. It's your, it feels like a soulmate connection. You're, you're the same. There's you, the devil. But also, the devil card is also about addiction, codependence, um, climbing that epically long stairway into your head. Um, so Capricorn, that you, that's your card, um, coming out of this two of cups, looking down the table into the future. Um, and there's some kind of justice here. If you're married, this could be a legal situation with, with somebody. Um, but it's also... There's two cards here, two of cups and justice are very much about equality and balance. Um, that you're looking away from this two of cups towards getting some kind of justice. So the king of wands is somebody else and, and, and you're here as the devil. Um, hmm. Let's, let's look further. Cause I, there's a, there's a couple ways to read this here. I love the devil because the devil introduces the, the need for us to address something that is, is keeping us from knowing our worth here. <clears throat> Doing some, all right. So this 10 of swords is clarified by nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment the devil in your release is looking towards this nine of cups um, there's a princess of cups and a young new emotional um offer or gift or it's you off you know getting in your heart space and lots of cups wow and there's the ten of cups which is your future okay you have to leave a situation that is hurting you. It's, it's, you're in it as the devil, but it's also, it seems like the two of cups. And so you're constantly going like this in it with justice. Um, very passionate, but it is not good for you. So you're being advised by this to embrace the end. Um, that you're, then you get all of this good emotion once you do that. It feels painful, but on the other side is a nine of cups, a princess of cups, and a ten of cups. Um, if you if you choose this to take the advice of the cards here, they're reassuring you in like all the ways that they can assure you <laughs> that there's something ahead that is happy, peaceful. Um, this beautiful individual fulfillment. Somebody else brings a 10th cup here and then you get to be in an emotionally satisfying situation all on the other side. This is totally about the sun rising on the other side of this painful loss of this release of this King of Wands. The fire sign, King. it's a Leo typically. Um, but just any kind of alpha energy um, to move away from that, even though it feels like a two of cups or it is a two of cups. It's still sometimes like not healthy. And the devil here tells me that you are getting stuck in, in this endless um, trap of this is the best I'm going to get. Cards say, end it. The best lies ahead. Uh, it's hard not to see this as anything other than like a personal narrative of emotional fulfillment um, with another. It seems very much like simple romantic love, love ending, love, love ahead kind of a story for you. But let's see. Eight of swords here. This is you trapped in the frame of mind that says um, that's really much like the devil when we don't read it as Capricorn, but 
you know, this is all I'm ever going to get and I'm trapped and, you know, I, I'm obligated perhaps. Um, I know the feeling like somebody's like, we're soulmates. And then you're like, well, I can't leave. That's my soulmate. There's not going to be anyone better out there, but it hurts, man. And it's not just uh, something wrong here. Okay, so you get the Ten of Pentacles. This is security, abundance. Um, this is hidden. This is in your hidden, is this. The cards are telling you that you're being driven by a perspective that says you're trapped. Then they clarify and they're like, you have it all. You're emotionally um, going to get fulfilled in the Ten of Cups. That's here twice in your embrace. There's your Ten of Cups in this deck. Um... And it's your future here. So you walk away from this Ten of Swords. There's joy, cups, young, youthful, fun energy. And then you should know you're secure and you have enough Ten of Pentacles. Um, you're also two eights. So this is time to go. This is an unfulfilling situation. Maybe your Two of Cups thing that you're being told to release gives you a feeling of ten, to, ten of Pentacles. That's really hard to leave. So if your security in your home and your whole stable picket fence life is, is what you're supposed to walk away from, that can be very much give you a feeling you're trapped. But the cards say you're not fulfilled emotionally here. And so... Eight of Cups to me is a call to a journey. It could be a spiritual journey. Um, yeah, to healing and wish fulfillment, the star. Yeah. That is that is if you are brave enough to take the advice of these cards, Ten of Cups, star, like full total love and fulfillment and happiness lies ahead for you. Here. Okay, let's find out more about this future if we can. Should you choose to take the advice of these cards? They're saying Ten of Cups, the star, fulfillment, healing lie ahead for you. Um, it's a slow knight of pentacles. There's a good plan. There's all the steps to get there. Or, you know, there is a very stable pentacle guy here um, um, there's movement uh, it's either changing your mind or changing locations ahead very green energy much like the star star is similar color scheme as this future and here you go in the future another 10 putting your burdens down very slowly, you're going to move towards putting your burdens down. And there is, and that that is the process that will lead you to this Ten of Cups. That looks so fun. <laughs> Lots of loved ones in the future. It's not, it's sometimes a, the Ten of Cups is like a couple situation, a romantic partnership. Um, it looks like you're leaving something like that for more community. And it makes me, it occurs to me that as we're kind of re, we, we're addressing our relation to structure, um, and we're maybe moving from a nuclear family isolation, just me, my little unit all alone, um, towards in your cards here, putting down the burden of being all alone. And really coming together with this Ten of Cups, it's like many friends. Um, that's what I see see here for you. Yeah, so moving from just two of you alone to a, a collective feeling. Um, but it's a process of, it may be that your Two of Cups, it could be a friend, it doesn't have to be your partner. But there's a person who's very, um, this King of Wands, this Leo or this strong-willed person who is very stubbornly holding you back from um, wanting to be in a more collective um, 
and you are being invited to to do that. Now it doesn't say you lose your two of cups, but except in that you have to embrace some kind of really painful loss. Um, there's three tens here. Yeah. So ten of swords, ten of pentacles, and ten of cups. Oh my god, all the tens are here. Something is over. I mean, in the world card um, should be on the bottom, but <laughs> let's see what's going on underneath. Oh, okay. So underneath, it looks like there's a little bit of anger. Feeling angry. But there's also you setting off on a new joyful journey, a real leap of faith. The Fool. It is the season of the Fool. Um, so, healing. Remember we had the underlying motivation in the other deck is, is a Four of Swords. So, um, this is a healing process. It brings you out of what looks like isolation, maybe with a nuclear family, um, into putting down uh, everything you've been doing. You get to quit doing it. Um, you get to start something new. So we didn't get the world, but we do. We, we get the the other card that says there's a new beginning here for you. We don't need the world. We've got all the tens. Um, so Capricorn, that is my message for you. Real simple, quick, easy, obvious, easy for this tarot reader to read <laughs> um, message. It's not an easy path, um, but fulfillment healing, community, your collective awaits. Um, and it's not a rush. It uh, should be comfortable for Capricorn. Nice, slow night of pentacles. Um, got the plan, all the steps, very earthy um, speed at which you uh, make this new, this changing your mind or moving. You might be moving, relocating. Um, and putting your burdens down, the Ten of Wands. Um, but ultimately, this is a process of getting to happy, happy, joy, joy, this collective, this heart place with your heart people. That is the Ten of Cups. <laughs> That's very appealing in a time of COVID isolation, isn't it? Uh, I'm vaccinated, so it's great to be coming out. Um, and that's what you are invited to do here. Come out, fool. Come out and play. Don't stay home and be all crabby and angry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Cappy. I hope this helps you. Get it started. Cardinal sign. All right. Have a great day.